Hey guys, even here. So, Puerto Rico Pro started. Open division though is not gonna start in about 10 hours. It seems like there isn't gonna be a live stream, unfortunately. If you guys have any idea, any links, paste them in the comment section. But I asked some people who should know this and they're all saying there isn't gonna be a live stream. So that really sucks, but as soon as I find any videos, I will post them on my channel. So in about 10-12 hours from now, open division is gonna happen, we'll see who's gonna win that. As for now, there were other divisions that started, like bikini and the other female divisions, but there is something actually interesting in this competition so far, and that is 212 and Guy Cisternino. So Guy Cisternino is a very well-known bodybuilder, 212 bodybuilder, especially after that incident that happened a few weeks ago, so everybody was commenting jokes quoting him from that video like guys guys don't do that in front of me and stuff like that under the photos of himself from this show so everybody is really trolling him right now it seems like he has a lot of haters people are still not letting go of that because yeah it's very funny i get it but he's still a bodybuilder i mean cut the guy a break anyways uh, they are also saying something that is probably more interesting at this point and that is that he should retire that he's washed up, that he's starting to melt, that he is getting old, that he should not compete anymore, that his heydays are past. So, if you're asking me, should he retire? Well, I'll tell you that I don't really have an opinion on this because this is a personal decision. But if you're asking me, are his best days over? I will say that yes. I don't think he's gonna be as good as he once was ever again. And there's a lot of showings of that, a lot of signs. I'm going to show that to you. I'm going to analyze his physique right now. And also, if you're asking me, is he going to win this show? I'm going to tell you that he might very well win this show. It seems like he's going to be either second or first. I can see him winning it. I don't know. It depends on what the judges are looking for. Either they're looking for mass, and Guy is definitely the biggest guy in this lineup, or they're looking for fresh lines, conditioning and stuff. Because Guy, even though he's known for bringing great conditioning, he didn't bring it this time around. His glutes were definitely very soft. His quads also not as big as they once were. They are not very conditioned. The back looks really bad. The lats just look melted. So yeah, not his best ever. Arguably his worst. And the guy that is pushing him for that first is much younger, it seems, he looks like it, he looks younger, fresher, he has nice lines, but he does have a little bit, quite a bit smaller legs than Guy, and overall he's not on that level of muscularity, he's just a little bit stringier, you know, smaller. So I can see Guy winning this show because he has the size, but is it his best? No, no, and this is a very weak lineup, very, very weak lineup in 212. There is only four guys in the entire category, so Guy needs to beat three guys. And if he doesn't manage to do that, then yeah, he should probably retire. If he doesn't win this show. If he doesn't win this show, which show is he gonna win? This is gonna be like the, the easiest show to win in 212, I don't know, for a long time. So if he doesn't win this one, and he was like, uh, I think he was sixth at the Mr. Olympia, and I think he won seven shows this should be his eighth show that he won he won new york pro two times for a guy of that stature for a bodybuilder that successful in 212 if he doesn't win this poor lineup then maybe he should consider retiring yeah maybe he can come back better but better than this yeah i can see that but better than he was at his best i don't think so I'm a huge fan of Guy Cisternino, guys. I mean, I watched Fuad Abiyad's podcast. I love Guy. He has an amazing personality. I laugh at his jokes and everything. And I like his physique also. It's very freaky for a guy of his height, of course. Uh, he has a lot of muscle. Uh, he is very intense in the gym. He trains hard. I love Guy. I'm a, big, I'm a big fan. But let's be realistic. He is not at his best right now. So first of all, this most muscular right here, his arms, he was never known for great arms, but now they are looking much smaller than before. And also he's not conditioned enough, the quads are looking, I mean the legs do look bigger, but the quads themselves look kind of smaller. I'm gonna show that to you in another pose later, but overall, I mean the, the waist looks thicker as well, he just doesn't look as fresh and as good as he once was when he was at his best. There are a few poses in which he looked pretty good. For example, this one, lat spread. I mean, he's not spreading any lats, but overall he doesn't look so bad. 
Uh, front uh, double bicep also looks decent. It doesn't look so bad. Side chest also looks pretty good. You can see the hamstring drop right there. It looks decent. And the side tricep not showing any triceps again, but overall he looks decently conditioned and pretty big. Probably the biggest in, the, in this lineup. So these are the shots that are not looking so bad. Let me show you the bad ones now. So back double bicep, one of the most important poses in a bodybuilding show if there is an important pose, but you can say that this one and the front double bicep are the most important poses. And the back double bicep for guys Sternino, it's a pose really where you cannot hide your back. If you don't have any back, you will show that, you will showcase that in this pose. Here you can see that guy has no lats, basically. He never really had great back, it was always his weakness, his back and his arms. But now it just looks much worse. I don't know what happened to his lads, but they are pretty much gone. And then, there, that's probably not the worst thing here, also the glutes. I mean, he was always known for being super ripped. He was always very, very conditioned. But right here, his glutes are not looking very conditioned. His hamstrings are fine, his glutes are, well, let's say okay, but not very good for his standards. The judges are expecting more from Guy, and also the fans are. I was expecting more. I was expecting better conditioning than this. His glutes are not in. When he does this most muscular, you can see that he has the size, sure, but again, he was always known for having great legs, great quads, and part of that greatness was conditioning. Right now, there is only a little area, let me show you. This tiny little area here has any separation, any conditioning. Everything else, his entire thighs, are just soft, smooth, there is nothing going on. So, I don't know, I'm not gonna judge him, I'm not gonna say that he's too old and he should retire. Maybe something went bad in the last week, maybe he just got a little bit watery, or quite a bit watery. Maybe he just didn't peak perfectly, and that's why he looked like this. Maybe he can look much better, much more conditioned at the next show he does. So, there is that possibility. But judging on what I can see right here, yeah, not great. Not the best guy Sterno ever. Arguably his worst edition so far. I'm sure he knows that. I'm sure he will explain to us if it is a problem with like peaking, if it is just the age and him getting worse with time, then there isn't really much he can do. But if it is a problem with water or some kind of peak week mistake, then yeah, he can fix that for the next show and we will see him looking much better. Here is the guy that stood next to Guy in the middle of the callout, and his name is Peter Borechki, if I pronounce that properly, I don't know. So it's gonna be size that Guy has versus fresh lines and much more aesthetic, pleasing looking physique. And this guy has the size, he has more size actually upstairs, but his quads from the front, I mean, uh, his legs look a little bit smaller. Not in all poses, in this one, not really, he knows how to hide it, but. He doesn't really have as big quads as Guy, so you tell me, what do you think, who's gonna win this show? I think Guy is gonna be either first or second. The judges are gonna have a really tough decision, because they're gonna have to choose between size versus fresh aesthetic lines. It's never an easy choice. This guy does look very nice right now. So yeah, he's a little bit smaller, so I can, I can definitely see Guy winning it, because of the legs again. But also the back, the back on this uh, Peter guy looks much, much, much better. Whatever you guys think though, tell me down below in the comment section. Just tell me what you think about Guy Sternino overall. Should he retire? What he's uh, like right now as a bodybuilder? Should he win this show? Will he win this show? Whatever your thoughts are, tell me down below in the comment section. If you guys want to see Puerto Rico Pro Open Division, subscribe to my channel. As soon as I find any videos, I will make a video and I will post it right here. So subscribe, like the video once again. Thank you so much guys for watching, all the best and bye bye.